Here's a nice number theory problem that will give us a great opportunity to introduce a useful little identity. We want to find all positive integers n so that n to the 4 plus 4 is prime. Before we jump into the quick solution using a nice identity, let's just check out a few values of this expression for small values of n. If n equals 1, then n to the 4 plus 4 is 1 plus 4, which is 5, and this one is in fact prime. On the other hand, if n equals 2, then n to the 4 plus 4 is equal to 16 plus 4, which is 20, which is not prime. If n equals 3, then this expression is equal to 81 plus 4, which is 85, which is also not prime. And of course, since we are dealing with a fourth power, these values will pretty quickly become unmanageable without a calculator, and then they'll become unmanageable even with a calculator. So we'll have to use some smart algebra. This is one of those situations where we really wish there was a nice factorization for a sum of squares. There is a well-known factorization for a difference of squares, of course, a minus b times a plus b, but in this situation we have a sum of squares, n squared squared plus 2 squared, and there's not a factorization for that, except in some special cases. One special case is shown by Sophie Germain's identity. x to the 4 plus 4y to the 4 is equal to this expression here, and we're going to be able to use this in this situation by setting x equal to n and setting y equal to 1. Doing that, x to the 4 becomes n to the 4, and 4y to the 4, since y is 1, is just 4. And then Sophie Germain's identity gives us that n to the 4 plus 4, the expression whose primeness we are interested in, is equal to n plus 1 squared plus 1 multiplied by n minus 1 squared plus 1. And this is equal to n squared plus 2n plus 2, expanding the binomial and combining the 1 with that 1 squared. And this is getting multiplied by n squared minus 2n plus 2, again expanding the binomial and simplifying. So then this basically gives us our answer. If we plug in n equals 1, you're going to get 5 multiplied by 1. Of course, that's prime. But for any other value of n, our expression, n to the 4 plus 4, is obviously not prime because right here we have a factorization into integers, this times this. So it can't possibly be prime for any other value of n. n equals 1 is the only possibility. And here that explanation is with a little bit more detail we'll talk about. If n equals 1, then n to the 4 plus 4 is 5, which is prime. Otherwise, n to the 4 plus 4 clearly is not prime because it has these two factors, n squared plus 2n plus 2 and n squared minus 2n plus 2. For any value of n greater than 1, these two factors are going to show that the number is not prime because each of these factors is positive and not equal to 1 when n is greater than 1. And they're both clearly integers because everything here is just multiplication and addition of integers. And we know that both of these expressions are positive and not equal to 1 for n greater than 1 because when n does equal 1, this expression is equal to 5, this one is equal to 1, and from there they both only increase, which you could see by taking their derivatives, or if you don't want to use calculus, we could just plug in n plus 1 to this expression and click quickly see that's greater than just plugging in n, and we could plug n plus 1 into this expression and quickly see that it is greater than just plugging in n. So they're both increasing, so after n equals 1, they're both just going to go up and up and up for each value of n. Clearly, it demonstrates that this expression will be composite. And that's how we solve this problem using Sophie Germain's identity, which is a pretty common character in math competition problems, so it might be worth remembering. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you want to see some more interesting math problems, check my playlist in the description. Uh, uh.
uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count with calculus, I'm a V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponent